the um, last quarterfinal game <clears throat> of the Basketball Africa League uh, finals here at the Kigali Arena. The game between uh, BL 2021 defending champion Zamalek 66 points and Seydou Legacy Athletic Club from Guinea 49 points. We have with us here uh, Coach uh, Zajevic and uh, Dane Miller. Good evening, Coach. Good evening, Miller. Coach, it's always a pleasure to have you uh, here. And uh, we want, first of all, to congratulate you for this beautiful journey uh, at the at the Basketball Africa League. How do you how do you feel this evening, Coach? English. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming here on the and the press conference. Uh, uh, honestly. Uh, um, history of the desk competition of the ball 22 of cannot be uh, uh, talk, uh, explained it in 30 seconds but I will try it slack of slack Guinea is a team who start competition uh, last week of October 2021 super eight first part of the qualifications going FIBA qualifications the second round who have a start at 10 December in the Cameroon Mm -hmm. We are super eight, second round of the uh, FIBA qualifications and also in the Cameroon 15 and 16 December we are super eight, third qualification round and we are for the first time in the history qualified for the BAL second year uh, competition. Uh, when uh, uh, we are make a part of the Sahara Conference and we are have the competition from the 5th till 15th of March where the slack against uh, any expectations from the no one uh, took the place and coming to represent the new Guinea basketball, a new uh, s situation what was created in Guinea in the last two years. And we are coming here to represent ourselves, our country, our basketball, our sport in the better way we can. We are playing game against a championship uh, team from the last year, a team of the Zamalek and uh, who is unbeatable team from the sec in continue he is a strike for no unbeatability and uh, for, of course can uh, with a lot of problems problems what we had took uh, in last period for example we have a lot of problems inside we have not any kind of outside problems we are very happy because we are here i am proud of, proud of the, my guys on my club of my country what i represent i am little bit proud of myself in this very difficult situations what was created slack play today with the nine players why slack play with the nine players unfortunately everybody was against us even COVID-19 was against me we are lose two players for the COVID-19 already in Conakry we are lose foreigner players three extremely great guys foreigner players who are not was with us because of administration's craziness decisions of the people who decide inside of the club where i work and uh, regard also we are here with play it without group of the players who preferred prefer to awaiting couple papers piece of the papers name it money and state to coming here in this brilliant and beautiful atmosphere. So everything was against us. I believe in this young kids. We are played today in the starting five with two kids of 18 years. I must say thank you for the NBA Academy who give us this pleasure to choose the guy like Salim Baye, who is one future point guard after long, long, long time. One true point guard maybe will coming in the Africa basketballs and this is a very good news for all of us who make these activities. I want to thank you also NBA Academy for Mohamed Lane Keita. He is also born 2003. He is a Guinea kids. He played with me under 18 in Cairo 2020. But if you give me again 10 seconds, this guy, Dean, Dan Miller, Dean. this guy. He coming with me, start with me 15 October. He show loyalty, he show respect, he show love to the sport, to the friendship. This guy stay with me six months, never say nothing, never ask anything. 
only because he want to coming on the top like we are coming. And today, Slack is between fifth and eighth, the best teams in Africa. And I don't know in which my life, second or another third life, we can repeat that in this kind of the conditions. Thank you very much. This is the, my uh, final statement regarding the Slack uh, 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 season in the FIBA and the BAL competition. Thank you also for the Zamalek for the for their maximum showed activities. I am very happy when I see the Euro League high level player like uh, Sosa who must play 30 minutes. I am very happy when I see NBA Euro League and Euro Cup 2 season top scorer DJ Strawberry how they must play to beat the game against Alpha Kaba who have 17 and a half. Baye who have 18 and 18 and a half who have Keita and this guy is only one American guy, but he's not American, he's a basketball guy and basketball lover. Thank you very much for all of you. Thank you for the coverage of the journalists, of the media. I hope can the Guinea represent themselves today and in the past in the best way possible. If something is getting wrong, I want to just tell you sorry. Next time will be much better and I will try to improve myself to next year will be better and the better. Thank, Thank you very much again. Thank you very much, Coach. Um, just uh, straight after to Dane, uh, welcome again. And um, the coach talked about respect, loyalty, and uh, friendship. Um, moving forward in, in your career and looking at how you played with your with your teammates and all the difficulties that the team encountered leading up to this competition, do you think that these are the core values that you have to take with you as you leave the Basketball Africa League uh, this evening? Uh, first off, I want to thank God. Without God, I wouldn't be here right now. Uh, with the, with the abilities and opportunities to, you know, show the talents that I have. But um, I just think from day one, when I uh, stepped foot in Guinea a couple years ago, I was always preaching culture in basketball. You know, it was bigger than the Americans, whatever Americans that came in, whatever local Guinea players that, that was there. It was all about the, the kids, honestly. It's always been about the kids, they're watching us to give a good example for the future. This is not about us. You know, my time is almost up with basketball and a lot of guys on my team. It's all about the, you know, the young kids that's in the gym every day, that's trying to fight, to figure out the next meal, to figure out their dreams. So it was bigger than, it's bigger than slack. Mm. It's always been bigger than slack. I think that's why I came back, regardless of, you know, the administration, what's stuff going on with their players not wanting to come back or not being able to come back. You know, me being a leader on the team has always been about coming here and being a representative of Guinea. Um, you know, on Instagram, my DMs, you know, we have kids writing me from day one. Uh, you know, me making, asking me if I was coming back, and I couldn't turn that down. So it's not about, I don't want to say it was about me or anybody on the team. You know I mean? Coach did a great job. Without Coach, I don't think I I would be here, honestly. Um, he helped me become a better man man on and off the court. I mean, he pushed me to every extreme level, regardless if that's leading guys. Um, today, he pushed me to a level, you know, I wasn't 100%. I came in to the quarterfinals with a rolled ankle, um, a, kind of a concussion. But like I said, nothing could have stopped me from coming coming here to play. I don't care if I had one leg, one arm, I was coming to play. So I think that's the culture we're bringing from now on. You know, if we're blessed to come in and qualify again, that's the culture. We're coming to play. Regardless, we come in with five people, we're coming to play. Thank you very much, Dave. Yes, um, do you have any questions? Bonsoir, coach. Une question en français. Oui, oui, Lydia, le journaliste quotidien au Sénégal. Juste pour savoir, avec l'expérience que vous avez eue durant cette cette campagne, avec l'expérience que vous avez eue durant cette campagne, que ce soit à Dakar et ici à Kigali, sur quoi, selon vous, devriez-vous mettre l'accent Vous devriez mettre l'accent pour revenir dans cette compétition. Est-ce qu'il faut ajouter des joueurs dans notre niveau ou bien il va falloir mettre dans, dans le système au-delà comment vous avez trouvé cette, euh, cette, le niveau de cette, de cette compétition euh, première chose je directement te répondre sur la question sur la programmation de l'an prochain donc je te dis immédiatement comment on allait le, comment on allait la chose euh, le Guinée moi le préparé l'équipe nationale de Guinée au 18 pour le championnat africain 7 août 
É, mon ideia é que o melhor cinco jogadores que jogam em Guiné ainda restem conectados com o Slack para promover o ano próximo e utilizar a competição FIBA Ball para promover ainda mais utiliser le club, compétition de club, pour le pro, euh, chercher de euh, euh, proposer un autre groupe de jeunes joueurs guinéens pour euh, remplacer l'ancienne génération de l'équipe nationale senior. C'est la première chose. Deuxième chose, euh, moi j'ai compris que toutes choses qui sont arrivées à la Guinée der, dernière deux ans sont très compliquées pour euh, que beaucoup de personnes le compris comme, que, comment se passé les choses. Maintenant, nous avons arrivé à un niveau de division de 5e et 8e place, mm -hmm. et c'est la nette division sur euh, pensée amatérielle, à, à amatérielle, de penser à augmenter le niveau de professionnel. Mm -hmm. Je, dans mon côté, c'est tout me le demander qu'est-ce que le manque à basketball africain, moi, je le dis. Le manque le, le manque le club structure. Euh, le, cette activité avec le NBA et collaboration avec le FIBA poussait directement de création de club. Donc la création de club n'est pas comme la création de l'équipe nationale, parce que l'équipe nationale, tu peux utiliser les joueurs de tout le monde. Mm. Mais pour la création de club, tu as besoin de rester focalisé sur ton territoire, qu'est-ce qui est meilleur pour proposer. Donc, in cette case, cette compétition, a, dans mon avis, dans mon avis personnel, peut-être que sûr que une opinion ratée, euh, problème de basketball d'Afrique noire de club et qui ne sont pas évolués. Et la nette différence de budget et de qualité de joueurs et de championnat de pays de Nord-Afrique, de pays d'Arabes, de Maroc, euh, Tunis, Égypte. Donc, quand nous avons réussi avec ce niveau de compétition, in, dans mon avis, trois ans, je pense que dans ce cas, nous avons besoin d'analyser qu ce que voulait faire la NBA et FIBA dans ce projet. Parce qu'augmenter le niveau de compétition sur le territoire propre, augmenter de proposer les joueurs encore de plus de gens pour le faire voir qu qu'est-ce qu que nous avons vraiment à dans les mains. Et, et, et sans utiliser la diaspora, bien sûr, parce qu'ils jouent autre compétition. Dans cette case, je vois les trois pays de, qui me plaisent le plus, et je pense quatre. Trois pays qui sont Sénégal, Mali et Côte d'Ivoire, et aussi le dit comme le Guinée, que je suis sûr qu'avec une compétition peut-être interrégionale de côte occidentale d'Afrique, nous avons pu augmenter encore, améliorer le niveau de club. Parce que si nous avons réussi à augmenter le niveau de club, nous avons, je suis sûr que un jour, non loin, peut-être le final de BEL joue de l'équipe d'Afrique. Noir. Oui, non, mais, enfin, je veux dire, c'était une analyse analysis from 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 coach Chetovic. La question de Vori Diallo, from le coach Yen in Sénégal, was asking the coach. Uh, how you know this competition uh, has helped you know uh, the growth of basketball in Africa and coach was just giving his expert opinion about you know the, the the pathway towards the basketball Africa League and it is important as coach said you know to build the grassroots uh, and reinforce the clubs as well so the clubs need to have a very powerful structure and those clubs will be able to feed the national team but for the national teams you can get players for more about but they have to have a very good structure at the level of the clubs coach uh, i think that's exactly what you were talking about in terms of building the club structure reinforcing the club structure and having a competition that will be able to make the, the clubs become you know uh, a, a, a veritable receptacle so that we can build naturally moi je suis sûr avec le mm -hmm. soutien encore de plus de In mama English, coach. Uh, de mama fiba africa mm -hmm. uh, nous avons pour arriver encore de plus, mm -hmm. pour arriver à une situation vraiment que nous avons pour arriver le fier, que nous avons créé le club à très haut niveau, très haut niveau de compétition pour le gagner le titre de, de compétition africaine. Merci. Thank you very much, coach. Any questions? We'll just take one last question and then we'll...
Coach Leonard Soms from ESPN. Uh, you mentioned that. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned um, that you've been dealing with issues behind the scenes at the club, where administrative concerns have led to three players that you brought in from from abroad not being able to play here with you. Are you able to explain in in any more detail what's been going on behind the scenes? Game over. Uh, uh, our season is ending. Exists a couple of the situations what is uh, created. Uh, I am, uh, oh, but I not like it. It's, I, I don't need to to tell why. I am only coach, but I I am telling you, uh, we must be here a complete same like we are playing the Senegal and we are not. And I am not guilty for this. Players are not guilty for that. That's all what I can say about this point. But unfortunately, everybody must growing up and the club organization and administration must grow up and everybody must follow this. We must stop it, the amateur thinking of the sport and let's go play professional level. That's two things don't go together. And this is the thanks God exists, that's competition, what they can show us the ro road where we can coming. But if we not change ourselves, how we can come in to the top. To be better, we must change ourselves. If we not change ourselves, we will stay down hill and we will walking always looking <laughs> others. That was coach. I must stop it now. <laughs> that was coach Jitovic of Seydou Legas Lady Club. Thank you very much, Dane. No Thank you. Um, do you have one, a last word for the population in Guinea, a very great country in uh, West Africa? Um, I just want to say thanks to all the kids in Guinea, all the families that uh, looked out for me, uh, treated me like family, and I'm definitely going to miss them. I'm going to come back and visit. Um, I mean, there's a couple kids there that, you know, while I'm home, I usually get stuff and send it to them to make sure they're okay. I'm going to continue to do that because they're like family to me. So I appreciate everybody in Guinea for sure. Thank you very much, Dean. Thank you very much, Coach Jojovic. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> Uh, we see you first July World Cup qualification. <laughs> with, uh... Dear friends, we we're going to continue this post game uh, press conference. We have here with us the uh, head coach of Zamalek Basketball Club, Coach Will Voigt, and uh, our friend Anas Mahmoud. Anas, good evening. Good evening, Coach. Um, just a reminder of the final score for today's game. 66 points for Zamalek and uh, 49 points for Sedu uh, Legacy Electric Club from Guinea. Coach Phil, I'll start with you. The 2021 BL uh, champion on a 12-game winning streak at Africa's PM Premier Basketball Competition. And you have just earned your ticket to the semifinals of the uh, Basketball Africa League. That will be here at the Kigali Arena on Wednesday. Congratulations, Coach. Um, looking forward to this competition and a very decisive game on um, on Wednesday. Do you, at any point, feel any kind of pressure uh, to defend your title here in Kigali? No, you know, I, I mean, I think for us... Uh, you know, we really approach every game uh, on its own. Um, you know, so uh, all of our focus was on Slack. Um, uh, we'll evaluate that game even before we move forward to Monastir. So, you know, we understand that they're, you know, Monastir is a really, really good team. Uh, we also know that if we play the same way we did today, we'll lose. Um, but, you know, in terms of a bigger picture of, you know, getting to the finals, winning the finals, like that's never been our approach. It's always yeah. been one game at, at a time. time. Thank you very much, Coach. Uh, Anas, good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, today, today's game, um, I, I, when, you, when, you, when you look at the, um, at the at the stats sheet, was uh, probably a tough game. We've been used to your team, you know, uh, in terms of uh, the quality of play and even in the in the the offensive in the offensive drive, seeing uh, a lot of you know spectacular, more stellar performance. Um, as a coach was saying that if we had to develop this kind of uh, game against uh, a semi finalist uh, US Monas T, it will be a tough one. Do you think that there are some things that we have to improve upon at their level? 
as you move towards Wednesday's uh, encounter? Um, I mean, yeah, obviously we didn't shoot the ball very well today. Uh, we missed a lot of looks that usually we would make. Uh, I mean, Edgar shot the ball, you know, he shot 30% from the three where, you know, like when, in the non-conference he was shooting a lot better. I mean, and he's our best shooter. But I mean, overall, um, we were getting a lot of open shots and we were not making them, which, you know, even you, everybody hates it, but it does affect your game. Um, we tried to kind of like limit that a little bit and we got back in transition and didn't, you know, score a lot in transition points on us. Um, and we got a lot of offensive rebounds. But I think in terms of actually playing together, we did chuck cheer the ball well. I mean, we had, you know, 16 uh, assists. Mm. Um, but again, you know, it's really hard to play offense and defense when your shots are not falling. Right. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to be more composed. And I think that's the word we're going to have to, be, you know, work on leading into the next game with Monastir because sometimes when you're not shooting the ball well, so defense has got to win you to the game. And in Monastir, I think, I mean, hopefully we will shoot the ball a lot better, but um, if not, then defense will definitely win us that game. Thank you very much. Anas, your, your microphone was off All right, the whole time. Good. So, oh. would, would <laughs> questions? <laughs> it's fine. We're recording. It's, it's okay. fine. Okay. Euh, bonsoir, comme d'habitude, une question en français. Après, tu, tu euh, Bonsoir, coach. Euh, je reviens sur la sur la question de, de Edwin. C'est-à-dire, ce match-là que vous avez joué contre Slack, euh, vous l'avez joué avec le frein en main. C'est-à-dire, en pensant forcément au match qui arrive contre euh, Monastir. Euh, quand on regarde les matchs que vous avez joués au Caire, vous avez joué à, à quasiment 100%. Mais par contre, le match que vous avez joué aujourd'hui, j'ai l'impression que vous avez joué en pensant ne pas mettre trop l'accent sur euh, gérer le match et préparer bien le, le, le prochain match contre ce monastère. La même question à, à Anas. Est-ce que euh, tu t'es géré pendant ce match-là pour préparer également le match de, contre le monastère euh, Quand on regarde, je pense que c'est 7 points, 7 points qu'il a mis, euh, ce n'est pas, pas son jeu. Est-ce que vous avez baissé de rythme juste pour pré bien préparer le prochain match? Merci. All right, coach, I'll, I'll do a quick translation. It's basically the same question. Yeah. I can't help you. All right, good, you. right. <laughs> good. I don't have this. Good, thank you. You did a great job in, in Yeah, Harry. I know, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm sorry, I can't help you here. <laughs> <laughs> so, coach, the, the question basically is, Vori is asking, he, he, he has the impression that you guys did not, uh, roll out your your game plan you were on 100 percent on full drive in 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 in, in cairo um, but yeah he has the impression that playing today at the kigali arena you had at the back of your mind the semi-final game against us monesty which is a, going to be a rematch of the uh 2000, 2021 final at the back of your mind you know were you thinking about this this semi-final game um were you trying to preserve the players and that's for 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 anas there is something that did not happen. We we did not see the Zamalek that we have the the habit of seeing on on the court tonight. Um, yeah, I mean for sure we didn't play the way we wanted. Uh, mm -hmm. When we haven't played a game with this group since Cairo, so you know that that has made it hard. I mean, obviously as a coach, I wish we had better preparation. You know, I wish we had test matches before we came in here. Uh, and we also, you know, Ike Diago, who's a pretty important player for us, uh, is out. So uh, I agree. You know, we, we weren't. We weren't anywhere close to the same level that we were in, in Cairo. Uh, and we understand that we better get there quickly uh, or Monastir is going to destroy us. Anas, you want, to, you want to take the question from your level because you talked about the number of points you scored tonight. You talked about you found out you scored just seven points. Um, were you? Um, I mean, are you trying to like you know uh, preparing for next game or? There's just uh, no, I mean, kind of like Coach kind of said it earlier. Um, I mean, we take every game on its own. Uh, for me, you know, I, you know, I just felt like I, the ball wasn't falling for me today. Um, so I'm not gonna force shooting where you know like. Like Coach said, having not played a game with each other for a month, um, obviously the last couple of days our practices hasn't really been the way we wanted it to be. Uh, so 
I felt the wind a little bit and I wanted to get up and down more than just getting the shots up because at the end of the day, somebody else is making the shots. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, scoring the ball is not really one of the things, you know, I look at, I was like, oh, I got seven points, I got to score more. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> at the end of the day, as long as we win, we win. Um, but I think, um, you know, it's just every game is on its own. And today was a tough game offensively for us and for everybody, um, you know, myself included. Yeah, right. Good. Thank you. Uh, question? Just like that. Uh, Coach, well, just a couple of questions about a couple of your players. Um, are you able to reveal the reason that Ike is out? And um, also with, with Moab Yasser, uh, Abdel Latif, with him being here, does this mean that, or are you able to, to say whether or not this means that his college college basketball career is up or will we see him again in college basketball in the States after, after this is all done? Um. Ike is out with an injury. Uh, that's about as far as I'll go with that. Um, you know, as far as Mohab's situation, uh, I you know I know that the NCAA was contacted prior to him participating here, um, but all of those conversations were between him and and management. So I don't you know I can't give absolute clarity on 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 that.